morning guys July 15th 2023 this is I got a call from a lady um, she wants me to go by and check her AC I think she, she sounds familiar I've done it before for her before and I think she's got a square good she's got a square um, rud unit out there an older rud unit probably R22 uh, and, uh, she, she just changed the filters inside the house and We'll have to run it and make sure that the um, charge is topped off there on the, the older rod unit. Her husband used to call me all the time, but I guess he's passed. But probably working okay. She just called me to check it. So we'll run it, check the charge. Make sure it's okay. Less chance of it breaking down, you know? Nice and warm coming out of here. She just turned it down. If anything, it's not low. It's not, not crazy low. I'm going to check it. She turned it down so it's not going to shut off on me. Oh, hey. It's R22 for sure, yeah, R22. Let's put our gauges on it, see what's going on with this beast. I'm thinking that the charge is fine. Well, it's it's really close. It's not something I'd be too concerned about. She called me in, so I gotta check it. This has got a piston in it, pretty sure. She's a tight one, Mama. Alright, so this is a rod unit, so it's got a TXV inside. We're at 413, 14 on the sub cooling, that's fine. Our suction at 66 is fine. She changes the filters every three months. Head pressure's good for R22. Anything above 60 is alright on 22. Um, 28 is being regulated by the TXV, the superheat. So we're going to leave it right there. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. She's good to go, Mama. She's fine. Maybe just wanted to check it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Prevent maintenance. Better to check it and not need anything than not check it and be an issue. Yeah, that's what I say. I didn't think there was an issue, but good to, always good to check it. This one's just probably can't handle the load. Let's put our gauges on and see what it's doing. Let's see what our suction line is. It's got an old, you should see this old piece of shit they got up in the attic. Unbelievable. Old, old piece of equipment, it's like really. So this one's looking fine. 18 on a superheat, 12 on a sub cooling, 80 on a suction for R22, 65. This is all. These are all good pressures. It's condensating well. I mean, it's working the way it's supposed to work on this one. That's as good as that's going to get right there. Fine. 
should see the flipping. <coughs> the air handle that is upstairs is probably a 75, 1975. This is an 80, 98. Crazy. This was, this was good. This is a nice train unit. Back when train was good stuff. Train's working inside. She's gonna turn it on. See what's happening with it. Looks like a Except the wires are all connected. Let's see, uh, I'm not 22, I bet you. Yep. Oh, yep. It's a capacitor. Compressor's not starting. Yeah, I think it's a capacitor because I could hear the compressor tried to start and it wouldn't start. So mm -hmm. it might be an easy fix. Okay. I just disconnected it. and Was it working okay and then all of a sudden it, it stopped yeah. working? That morning, the night before, I was noticing that I didn't feel that it was as cold and as right. aggressive. But that morning, I noted that, yes, it was on. I could see it blowing. I could hear it. However, when I went to go feel it, it just was not cold. It sounded like a capacitor going, eh, trying to start. That's, we'll find out right now. Common. Very common problem. Mike, what are the chances in such a hot day? <laughs> we'll fix it. Oh, the cold day you got the flipping earwigs from hell here. All right, let's check it. It should be. You working from home or you just... Which is nice, huh? Somewhat. Somewhat? Somewhat. Well, the kids are home, so it's, it's I'm constantly bothered and distracted. All right, so we'll check the microfarads here and let's see what we're doing here. Hopefully it's something simple for you. I hope so. Open line. Tw no, 20. It should be 45. That's your problem. 20. 20.8. Should be 45. So, got lucky. Yeah, so that kind of kind of holds the charge and helps the compressor start and helps the fan start. So, um, that's basically, without going into details, that's basically how it works. Let me get one out of the truck. I think it's a 45.5. Do you need me to turn anything off for you? No, I got it off right here. Oh, okay. This one, yeah, it's a 45.5. <clears throat> we'll fix it. Thank you. We need a 45.5, and that should do it. Let's see what we got here. Five, five. There we go. That's what we want. Just the one more. That's the one. I'm going to take it out of here without making a mess. So the yellow is the compressor, or the harm, which is three prongs. Brown 
is the fan. This should be the two prongs. And the other two are the common. Red's the common. And the purple's the common for the fan. That's the four prong. It's there. There. We should start now. How do you like it without the AC? Terrible. Oh, it is. Isn't it? Yeah, we're now, huh? You're so used to it. Yep. And then I don't have it. It's gonna start now. It's gonna start now, I guarantee it. Almost guarantee it. Got a good chance, put it that way. You hear it? Compressor starting. That's all we want. Okay, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's getting nice and cold. We just hit this back with the with the garden hose. It's not crazy bad, but every so often he should he should clean these with the hose. Okay. Alright, so we just rinsed them both off and Yeah, so it has been cooling all right, right? The, the AC? Yeah, it has, it has. Yeah. yeah when I, I, did, I did cool it off pretty good when I hit it with the hose, but she's getting nice and sweaty. Nice and cold there. Yeah. 